Hey, Vandana, thanks for joining the One Minute CM game. Uh, Vandana is here, uh, new friends. Uh, Vandana is from Kerala, basically from Kerala, but she has lived in different states and she is jack of all trades. She started uh, her career in soft skills as a trainer, then she is also passionate about doing her law. And there are a lot of uh, things about her uh, with respect to her passion towards PES uh, and you know, a lot of NGO activities. She has got a lot of humor in her and, uh, and I think that uh, makes her set aside with respect to a lot of trainers which we see across uh, humble and down to earth. So Vandana, can, can you introduce uh, yourself to our friends? Sure, thank you so much Ravi for that. It was a wonderful uh, introduction. I've never been complimented so much. Thank you. So, Thank you. Yes, so I am Vandana Nambiar, and um, he said I'm from Kerala. I, uh, my father was in the army, so I have traveled uh, uh, to uh, 12 states. Yeah. So, and the, uh, you know, every state I've been to, uh, that language was my second language. So, I had to learn that language, I had to write and read. So, uh, I think that was a blessing. Um, I remember giving my board exams in Punjabi, so I had to read and write in Punjabi. Uh, yeah. Once it was Bengali, so I had to learn Bengali. So, and then, yeah, so 12 states, basically a lot of experience and I've had a very, uh, a wonderful childhood. So that was it. And then um, I was quite adventurous since my childhood. And mm -hmm. um, so I asked, you know, I used to ask my parents, what do you think I should do? I used to ask them. So my father said, you're very talkative and, you know, you love to, uh, you know, you're very bold. So I think you should get into law. So I said, okay. So I did, I wanted to become a judge actually. So I did my uh, uh, law from Mysore, uh, GSS mm -hmm. Law College, and then, um, and then got married. And then my mother-in-law supported me a lot in doing my master's. I did my master's in criminology and uh, because of her support, I think uh, I got a gold medal and uh, wow. yeah, I was not a good student when I was a child in school. It was an average or sometimes below average, but then I was surprised when I got a gold medal and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I, 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 uh, I, I started developing the interest in law because, you know, I used to visit a lot of jail. Uh, okay. as part of the dissertation. I used to visit a lot of jail and talk to the prisoners, you know, write theory and uh, thesis and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. um, I always wanted to get into law and do a, be a criminal lawyer. But fate, you know, it's written here. So I got into corporate as a trainer and mm -hmm. then um, started my career uh, into corporate from Bangalore. I was in Bangalore for like 10 years. I worked in Converges and then I worked in Hero Mine Mine and a lot of uh, friends and great people. I've learned a lot from them. Um, I would like to mention a few people here because a uh, great platform. Yeah, to please. Show my gratitude to these people. Sharmishta, Bindu, uh, you know, um, Beth. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I've forgotten few names here, but Daniel, yes. A lot of people have learned a lot of things here. So thank you so much for teaching me, you know, teaching me a lot of stuff in training. And then I used to travel a lot when I used to train. And mm -hmm. then um, uh, I moved to Pune. And then I moved mm -hmm. uh, Pune. I had I, I made some great friends, you know. Uh, uh, Tripti, Deepti, and love you all, guys. So, <laughs> so I moved to Hyderabad, got a great opportunity here. And uh, I, again, I would like to thank a lot of people who, uh, you know, gave me uh, this opportunity. Manoj, uh, uh, RK, RT, so mm -hmm. a lot of people. So, yeah. <clears throat> and now I have learned so much in Hyderabad. Hyderabad has given me so much. Uh, I, I am trying to uh, get back to law. I've made a uh, couple of friends here, seniors, mm -hmm. you know, who showing me the path, how you can start your law career once again. So, um, uh, I will gradually, you know, stop being a corporate slave and then get back to law. And uh, I've also got in contact with a lot of NGOs and people who are doing mm -hmm. social service. So, uh, you know, you try to do your bit. Want to do. Yes. Yeah. So, great journey from, you know, soft skills trainer, 
corporate trainer to you know getting into law i'm sure uh, it's a big transition the the workspace or the work culture is completely different in the law field uh, here in india so i'm sure but uh, i i love the energy with which you used to travel i still uh, have this question as to you know what do you do like i traveled a lot uh, across india and you know uh, when you know this was business travel i felt so lonely so how did you manage uh, engaging yourself uh, while business travel um shopping okay <laughs> so see this yeah. uh, whatever perks i used to get I used to go in shopping and uh, uh and when short of money window shopping and uh, so that is it and i regret right now not worth it <laughs> yeah Message i think this... people there do not get tempted <laughs> yeah this is this is one thing which men should learn uh, you know window shopping shopping kuch bhi ho shopping karo thoda buy something for family absolutely yaar ek ghar khareed liya hota but nice nice i mean this is all about passionate people like you uh, so thank thanks for joining in so are you all set ready for the rapid fire questions so that uh, our friends your old friends and new friends will get to know more about you absolutely yes Yeah. Okay. So why PS I love you is your favorite movie. Sorry you wanted to say something you can answer this after. Yeah, I forgot to mention I love dogs. I have like 11 dogs here. Seriously? Yeah. I have Okay, around you now? Uh, around me three uh, outside uh, six or seven of them are there and then uh, uh, i would uh, somebody i uh, you know he doesn't know me but i know him rakesh shukla he's quite popular mm-hmm. on facebook and in bangalore i believe mm-hmm. he sold his three houses to build a, a home for dogs uh, oh. he's got like close to 3000 dogs and he takes care of his ab- uh, you know animals so he's okay. he's my inspiration there's something i i i want to do so wow <laughs> when when you know you, know, you spoke Sorry. about uh, pet loving i thought okay ek do puppy honge and all that but this is this is too good 11 dogs hmm yeah so do do let us know if you need any help with your ambition you know your process in mind as to what you want to build for I dogs left, i have left so many messages for rakesh shukla i hope he listens to this message gets this message uh, i want to start something what he's done and i mm-hmm. don't know where to start i don't know how to start i've collaborated with couple of animal lovers here from ngos here uh, doctors mm-hmm. you know vet okay. doctors and i want you know how to go about it help me so i'm still waiting to start this i'm looking for places outskirts of hyderabad where i can do something so it's still in this process oh. yeah sure so yeah the first question so why is ps i love you your favorite movie um i don't know. well i will not say i don't know this to be done so but uh Yes, maybe it reminds me of someone. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, when I watch that movie and I feel he's somewhere around. I know uh, there's so, so many things I could pass a message to him, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, what if he's not around? Is this how uh, life is going to be? And uh, you know, if someone is not around, uh, you are con- you're constantly thinking about that person. So it's just the love which is forever. So um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sorry. very uh, passionate person. I have I love gazelles I love uh, I love uh, galib sh- uh, shairi so also mm-hmm. I don't write shairi but I have a lot of collection of galib uh, shair and sometimes when we get together friends and all I I buy hard them and mm-hmm. you know that becomes a part of uh, the toast yeah, yeah. so this is this is a so vandana this is a get together right now and you have a lot of friends uh, you know watching this so you you can start your gazal moment and you know uh start with something your your favorite gazal gazal song mm-hmm. yeah maybe i can do a share yeah please go ahead okay once again once again mm-hmm. ishq ne galib mm-hmm. kamma kar diya warna hum bhi aadmi the kaam ke ps i love you <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> some of some of these shairies have lot of lot of meaning in it i, I have a yes. close friend of mine kavita she she does awesome shairies you know originals yeah. she writes it 
so yeah good one i i i collaborate with people who write shayari kavita i take mm-hmm. the shayari i give them the credit give their names okay. put everything and then i do a lot of tiktok videos and then mm-hmm. uh, you know give credit to them and then put it into action so makes sense yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, what's your dream job like wonder my dream job is to take care of animals and dogs uh be mm-hmm. uh, have a hope, a shelter for the animals and um i'm not looking at uh, earning uh, in crores or lakhs uh, just a small kerala house with one room open uh, rooftop in the middle and then have two cows two goats hens dogs what else can you want <laughs> <laughs> yeah Very and that's simple. possible around hyderabad also so yes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah okay a uh, national social humorous motivational or spiritual what what are the category of posts would you like to post regularly on your page national what was that again social humor motivational spiritual hate i mean there, there are many categories of posts which people do i think so. spiritual yes okay definitely don't ask me Good. the definition but then yes yeah i, I can so explain it yes spiritual yeah <laughs> yeah the audience are requesting if you can speak a bit louder vandana so that uh, you know yeah maybe you can get your mic okay. closer okay okay yeah, yeah yeah super this is super yeah best community service which you have done in your lifetime um i'll tell you the most recent one Uh, i had a driver okay so uh, uh, while driving he keeps talking about his village which is not very far from here uh, mm-hmm. railapur so he said uh, madam there's a school uh, in our uh, the primary school in my village it has 100 mm-hmm. students and uh, the school might close in like a year or two because they're moving to another uh, village the, the children are going to another village uh, there are no classrooms proper classrooms there i said uh, okay take me to your village so the next weekend he took me to his, he was so excited so the next mm-hmm. weekend i uh, you know with my colleague purna and satya we went to uh, the village and mm-hmm. uh, we saw the school and it was very nice and the children uh, kept us kept stalls they were doing some scientific experiment and they, you know for us and it was very mm-hmm. nice and you will not believe for 100 students there was only one classroom and oh. uh, two other classrooms were broken the roofs were broken the children were sitting uh, under the tree it was very hot there's no drinking water facility there's no bathroom for the uh, for girls you know boys mm. can manage it. they go out but still it's not it's not uh, yeah, it's you know hygienic, yeah. Yeah. then girls no bathroom so because of that the girls stopped coming to the school so um, uh, two of my friends from my office previous office purna and satya uh, they are a part of the rotary club so i said can mm. we do something so initially i started helping the school uh, you know to uh, do the repair work but i cannot do it all by myself because it needed a lot of money so these guys the rotary club really they helped me mm-hmm. they helped the school so i think now they funded with 5 lakhs so wow. you know uh, I, i i yeah so i think collaboration and uh, connection is very important because you don't know when you'll get help for from people from where so uh, sure. and that school i mean because of the lockdown it's not uh, started yet but it will start very soon and i'm so glad three classrooms will come up and uh, we're planning to do a lot of things for that school right now uh, mm-hmm. also a school in kukutpally we are uh, planning to do uh, a lot of children uh, come from the slum and they are mm-hmm. children of these uh, garbage pickers and you know so mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know they have never seen an annual day so that is my next target so I have uh, conduct collect some funds and do an annual day uh, for the children maybe in september december whenever the school reopens so uh, have a little park for them uh, a merry go round and a swing children love it these things make a lot of difference in the school so yes that okay <laughs> so that that, that's my that's awesome so you yeah so that's creating memory so a, a driver your driver led to a story which created uh, Yes. You know, a school. Yes. I I would say renovate or uh, you know make a entire school again. And now uh, you're trying to create memories uh, around a small school which is close by to you. Awesome. Absolutely. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Good one. So uh, <clears throat> when Vandana gets involved, ah, huh? yeah, please go ahead. So 
I want to ask you, do you like dogs? I do, but I don't. I uh, yeah, I do, but I don't uh, pet one. So I don't have one uh, at home. But yeah, I have a lot of pets around. So I have uh, around five hundred to six hundred fishes. I have uh, birds which naturally come, feed, and then go out. And yeah, a lot, lot of other. <laughs> so yeah, so but I don't have a dog. Yeah, I think it's time that you know we start petting, you know, at least one. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I would definitely love to uh, be part of your initiative which you're planning in future. So yeah, well, let's uh, let me do something indirectly. Great. Okay. good your next question uh, when vandana gets involved in a family gathering what commonly happens a lot of dance a so, lot okay. of music a lot of dance and people are not sitting anyway i'm i uh, they, i'm sure they get up they dance uh, they uh, you know they involve the elder people uh, something but then it's just fun yeah <laughs> good so that that's a common thing so if i ask uh, your family members they would definitely say the same thing Good. yes all time song all time favorite song main zindagi ka saath nibhata chala gaya bas wahi aata hai good one your favorite ko do ha sorry sorry i i sorry for interruption please please go ahead with that No, no, I'm not a good singer, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite celebrity crush? Shahrukh Khan. Oh, you will not believe. I have to tell you this story. When my mm -hmm. daughter was born, uh, I think there was a Kargil war going on, mm -hmm. and um, Shahrukh Khan was extremely popular those days. I had had a major crush on him, so I was like, "Mummy, kya naam rakhe, be beti ka kya naam rakhe?" I said, "I'm such a Sharuk." I could not tell this to my mom, right? So I said, "Kya naam rakhe?" I said, "Sha S H se shuru hone wala naam rakhenge." And I hope this message reaches Sharuk Khan. Sharuk Khan, please watch me right now. I wanted to uh, keep a name starting with S H, and then mm -hmm. I said, "Mummy, book holo and look for some Sanskrit name which starts with S H." and she looked and she looked and you know who day and night and then finally we found a name i said shreya i said yes oh. it starts with a sh i said okay <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that's, that's cute so shreya is my daughter she's uh, doing her final year graduation oh yeah <laughs> i don't look that old right yeah yeah you don't i mean it's a surprise i thought she'd be in third fourth class look great thank you <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, Ravi, what what hmm. is the most interest? If you have an audience there, what is the uh, most interesting question you have? Out of all this, is it all the questions are getting boring, right? So really, yeah, no, we should yeah. Do, so uh, brown audience some for people hmm. uh, asking some for people for the most interesting question. Yes, please, uh, friends, please raise some interesting questions, which are very uh, you know, which are very tough. for vandana to answer uh, i have a question for you since you're sharukh khan fan dilwan uh, le dulhaniya le jayenge leke kya kare dilwale dulhaniya le jayenge leke kya kare dulhaniya to bana nahi sakte aap bahut late ho gaya dil mein rakh lo good one So, what is that first thing you will shop after the malls get open and you know you go out for shopping? What is that you will buy? I am not going to the malls for this, in this year. No, I am super entire... scared. I even wash my eggs. I will not go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am actually very scared. I'm scared because uh, I want to visit my dad and he's not mm -hmm. well. I have to go so... to Kerala, so I have to be safe. Yeah, if I have to visit him, so this year. No shopping. No shopping. No shopping. No. Yeah. Telangana has to manage with his revenues, uh, their own revenues, Absolutely. guys. Keep yeah. keep prepared. Uh, this you have to be really honest. Uh, have you stalked somebody during this pandemic on your social media network? Uh, a, a celebrity? Anybody? It can be a friend. Have you stalked somebody? Have I stalked someone during this pandemic? Uh... 
stop someone can be like just checking their updates regularly going into their profile though they have not posted anything yeah uh, i think uh, i've done it for uh, the actors the celebrities you know i've done mm-hmm. it for uh, actors tamil actor dhanush uh, and i've done it for rana dagupati because he got just got married and i keep checking his post and i keep commenting something weird i hoping that he will see something he will comment <laughs> he said thank you vandana mm-hmm, nothing no nothing chance. nothing came yeah. he's no busy chance. now so once once you know after one or two years he will definitely go back to these responses and respond back so But yeah I'll please sure please hold up i'll make sure after this i will stalk you <laughs> thank you <laughs> so we we spoke about family so what what does uh, your colleague uh, what do your colleagues uh, speak about you at work vandana at work how is she uh oh, oh it's very lively when i'm um, i i make a lot of uh, food for the uh, for my colleagues so mm-hmm. every day i cook my inspiration is uh, you know for cooking uh, is not my daughter because she's very mm-hmm. choosy i cook for mm-hmm. my colleagues so i cook food for them i take it to the office so they are excited when na dabbe mein kya lai hai are aaj ye ye lai hu dal lai hu kofta lai hu so it's like they get uh, super excited and uh, you know uh, it's so tasty it's so nice and i can tell my mom you ko khana banaya kya tasty tha mummy up you are not nothing in front of me you know so i feel good saying that sometimes but uh, uh, they find me very lovely they find me very motherly you know so a lot of noise and i do a lot of selfies in the office every day so pata nahi yeah that's that ka baja hai so uh so that is one of the questions which you you know what what is your common selfie food pose when you take a selfie my common pose yeah selfie pose <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is my pose <laughs> so what's in the hand like you know statue of liberty ye hath mein kya hai what, what is that you are trying to pose Are for? you don't understand the secret it is just to hide the fat you know you don't get to see the the fat anywhere <laughs> so it's just hiding it's just a style <laughs> and okay. it's a rekha style it's a rekha style and oh okay i i didn't knew that okay i didn't know that rekha is Yeah, if you see my Facebook page, it's a golden sari, and uh-huh. I wanted to buy a sari exactly like that because Rekha wears golden saris, you know. Mm, so I yeah, yeah, I've seen Rekha. Went to Kanchi, yeah, I went to Kanchi to buy that sari, mm-hmm. and uh, yes, Rekha. Oh, wow, एक सारी के पीछे इतना story होता है, you know. Ah, so shopping. Oh. <laughs> so my wife has a question: most memorable and cherishable moment. most uh, memorable and cherished uh, moment mm, daughter born and all it's, it's very natural you know i will not say that mm-hmm. i'll say something else uh i uh, yeah let me say this i i was selected uh, in uh, when i was in the school i was selected for the state for swimming as a ch- swimming champion you know junior level um i uh, i didn't make it but i think i was second or runner runners up or something like that i wanted to pursue uh, i could not right mm-hmm. and then i was uh, when i was in uh, madhya pradesh sagar i was called in by the uh, uh, all india radio those days the fm were not there so all india radio to, because uh, they came to the school for the auditions and they liked my song and they wanted me to come and sing so i i i went in uh, you know uh, gave an audition and my song was uh, you know uh, it was broadcasted so uh that is a memorable uh, incident event sorry and then um, i was a gymnast i was a great gymnast i used to represent school uh, mm-hmm. for cartwheel handstand you know uh, flip and stuff like that so that is another uh, you know uh, thing which i will never forget and um, i was great in acting i have done mm-hmm. a lot of uh, acts and plays in the school shakespeare and stuff like that so Uh, got a lot of awards and prizes so that's something wow. i'll never forget and then uh, after joining corporates i've got a lot of awards for customer service best customer service best employee and stuff those are a lot of bits and moments of uh, things in my life uh, uh, which i don't think i'll for- ever forget and uh, i think these things make me very uh, happy and uh, yeah 
So it's not just one uh, incident or a one event. It's a mix of everything. That's why I call myself a uh, jack of all trades, jack of all. a gymnast, a uh, sports. Yeah, everything. I, I, I you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> there's anything that you cannot do? <laughs> uh, there's, there's anything I cannot do. Actually, no, no, I've done everything. I've even injected. I've, I've done surgery for the dogs. I've, I think I'm a surgeon oh. as well. So I don't know what I cannot do. I cannot be you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Most memorable <laughs> mischief that you've done. I don't know if it's a secret right here. <laughs> I used, I used to call my friends and we used to peep inside uh, the windows of people's houses to see what they do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? The bedroom. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I've you know, got this reason was... for that. My, my okay. dad used to beat How me old are you? With... How old are you? How... So let, I mean, no, we are imagining, see, we are literally imagining, you know, you peeping along with the friends, but for us to imagine it very clearly, we need, you know, what height you were, which class you were, what age you are, so that, you know, we, were you I a teenager know, or, you know, a kid? Fourth standard, fifth standard, and then we moved to Amritsar. I was 16 years old. Till 16 years old, I used to do that. My God. <laughs> yes, I used so to that, do that. I got beaten. I've got beaten till I was 21 with a belt and ha uh, hanger. And home, so many <laughs> hangers have broken. And I keep telling my dad, you wasted so many hangers on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your wife's name? Sirisha. Sirisha. Hi, Sirisha. <laughs> Is so, Edlin had a, yeah, Edlin also asked a similar question. The naughtiest thing that you've done. So, we've you know, spoken about mischievous, but if there is any other naughtiest part of it, so you can always mention that. I... Um... <clears throat> I have, uh, oh yeah, I have uh, once uh, um, I dressed up as an old lady, I wore my grandmother's old sari and then I, I put all those uh, coal, uh, charcoal on my face, uh, took an old bag and I mm -hmm. went outside the house and I told mom, just keep quiet, don't say anything. And I, uh, I, I went to the front door and I, I rang the bell and my dad opened the door and then uh, I, I spoke in Malayalam and I, mm -hmm. I told... Uh, you know, Mone, Mone is beta. Okay? Beta, yeah. And I was telling her, Mone, unnu kaashi teru, Mone. Veshik unnu, Mone, unnu kaashi ta. And then my dad is like, okay, okay, wait. Okay? He said, wait. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't recognize me. Five minutes. And then he came with one rupee coin. He gave it to me. End up, Mone, one rupee. Unnu aulia, Mone. Uru patti ruva. You know, as in I said, ten rupees. Ten rupees, ten at least. Ten rupees. Ha. Huh. So I said, ha ha, no, go, go. What is this? And he started screaming. He went inside. I opened the door. I went inside. I sat. Then he got <laughs> furious when he saw me inside. And then suddenly he realized, you know, I don't know, something was not, not right. And then he said, stop it. Stop it right there. And I said, okay. <laughs> so I've done a lot of pranks on my dad as well. I have lied on the floor with uh, uh, some ink on my stomach and with a knife next to me. And I, I've shouted, Oops. I've screamed, ah, Papa! And then, you know, like that. And then uh, he knows it's a prank. So, so those kind of mischievous he, he, things. He got used to all of this now. <laughs> Absolutely. Even now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your best 10th class memory? Best 10th uh, class memory? Uh, my best friend, Lebby. She was in the 10th mm. class with me and she's still my friend on Facebook. She's done a lot of collaboration with me on cooking. Okay. So there's a video with me, uh, you know, with her. Uh, the best class, uh, we were only, uh, uh, I was in army public school then and we had only nine students in the class. Okay. So every year they were coming up with one, one class and uh, the 10th was the last and we were mm. only nine or 10 students. So we were only two girls, Lebby and myself. And the rest were all boys. Okay. So the age was, you know, 16 years old. So you have a lot of curious uh, questions, you know. Are you know? 
things like that <laughs> are nahi hota fir kaise you know things you know you understand what i'm saying right yeah a lot of questions a lot of questions and then um, very friendly with the teachers and you know and steal stuff from the lab um, uh, yeah. a lot of uh, uncycling uh, sneaking out from the school to have fun uh, mm-hmm. yes so those were awesome amazing days yes yeah i i have a memorable moment in 10th class one of my friend his name is sharat so oh. <clears throat> he got a bottle he, he i mean most time my curiosity as uh, you said bahut jyada thi so he got a beer bottle to the class and all the girls were out i think it was pt period or something and you know hum log chupke wo beer bottle dekh rahe the i'm not sure about the brand i think it was king fisher uh, us time i'm not sure if that brand still existed so sabhi you know all the guys are like dekh pe isme volume kitna hai alcohol hai you know what is the content in it on pura dekh rahe hain all ye hatha pai the were like girls came back to the class and kya hua you know he was trying to snatch or you know people were trying to snatch you know the bottle blasted or you know it fell down and blasted in the classroom <laughs> itna smell aa raha tha itna smell aa raha tha so <laughs> literally we had to beg the girls to go out and you know we got the mopping stick and all that clean the entire classroom before the next uh, period starts so that that was that, that Uh, the most memorable moment uh, we yeah. had which we still <laughs> usko abhi bhi chidate hain peene ke liye nahi khali dikhane ke liye leke aaya tha wo and uh, right, yeah right. definitely you know it was not uh, legal as such but yeah that was the memorable moment there peene se yaad aaya i tried my uh, first uh, thing when i was in uh, my 12th okay mm-hmm. my uh, dad was still in the army so he had gone out my my mom to some place and then uh, i was bored at home kya karenge daru pada hai try karenge no so whiskey tha shayad kya scotch tha whiskey tha i don't even remember so wo piya maine so uh, i thoda piya kuch nahi ho raha hai i am strong thoda aur pi lete hain kuch nahi ho raha aise na i don't know i think i had couple of uh, shots chota chota and uh, thodi der baad uh, i am throwing up and the owners were on top they are like uh, very religious pure christian people who will not even think about uh, wearing jewelry you know some part of mm-hmm. them, some christians are very strict they don't they're very uh, orthodox they don't uh, jewelry mm-hmm. yeah I, i don't know what they call there's a specific name for them and uh, she came running okay so i i am full tally i don't know what to do <laughs> and i am I'm doing all drama okay i am on, this is the first time and i'm at, i'm in the bed mai bilkul ha 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 i'm doing all that and then they took me to the hospital and then uh, they and us time there were no mobile phones so they had to call landline uh, of the army uh, base or something mm-hmm. you know office so they called uh, my father and said please come fast your daughter is not well and uh, i was i was admitted in a government hospital i could not believe i i was like i don't know what if the doctor can smell kuch bhi these people mm. are very innocent okay i could not i could not tell them that i had uh, whiskey but when dad right. came to the hospital <laughs> mom came <laughs> he was very nice he said beta ghar chalo kuch nahi hua khatam khatam and then you know what happened the hangers broke big <laughs> one <laughs> yeah so we we have some good questions coming up how many guys did you ditch till date um uh, i have ditched uh, one two three two <laughs> two actually i have ditched two guys that's it no, no i don't believe it maybe the person who's asked the question edlin might believe it i i don't believe it my god her intuition is so strong and so right <laughs> maybe four or five <laughs> you're right <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Adeline is saying they are called Protestants. Uh, no problem. So I think they. Are, uh, What is it called? Protestants. No, no. Adeline no. in Kerala, there is a very strict group where they don't wear jewelry at all, not even a single piece of ring on their body. So uh, they call something else. Okay. Good. Have you snoozed uh, in uh, during any of the training programs or classrooms? 
no. you, you're a trainer, not, not in your own session, but I'm saying, you know, somebody is, else is doing and you know, Alex knows. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I can talk for hours and hours, but when somebody else is giving a session, uh, for a second, for a couple of that uh, break, yes, to get that power back. So I have, I will not tell whose session. <laughs> yeah, let's not ditch another one. <laughs> so my wife is saying, Vandana, I hope your daughter doesn't know about these stories. She is my grandmother. Okay. I make TikTok uh -huh. videos. Yeah. She'll say, Mommy, what is this? Mommy, stop it. Stop. Behave like a mother. I said, okay, I will stop it one day. <laughs> when you have kids, I will stop it. You know, and when I uh, act funny or when I'm dancing, I said, what is this, mommy? Why you dance like that? She's my grandmother. She doesn't. Uh... Mm -hmm. no, 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 there are few yeah. born that way. There are few born. I have yeah. experience with my niece. Serious. You know, my sister is like that. Yeah, they're they're born grandmothers. So ah. no. how to change them? How to change them? <laughs> <laughs> they will change after forties, thirties, forties. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but they, it it will be late by the time they realize that okay, Absolutely. Yeah, what did I do? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween costume? Uh, I've never tried a Halloween costume. I've never mm -hmm. done it. Not even in office. I've never had the opportunity. But if I have, uh, I want to be one of those characters in Avengers, you know, that mm -hmm. green thing like that. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what is she called? I forgot her name. She's completely green. Mm, no idea. Adeline, tell us the name. <laughs> Google, Google. <laughs> Who's the CEO you admire? You know, in the best brands we have it across in India or across. Who's the CEO you really admire? Feel that okay, who's the right one? I don't know. Uh, not, no one in particular, but I have tremendous respect uh, for Tata's, this group, mm -hmm. the person, mm -hmm. the chairperson, and the kind of work he does. And, uh, you know, it's it's like when you when, when I when I uh, imagine his face or when I read articles about him, I get goosebumps. And I wish there were many more uh, leaders like him in our country, uh, more people uh, like him in the organizations. Even at a smaller level, a bigger level, a higher level, more people think like him. Great humility and uh, amazing person. The Tatas, yes. Super. Okay, so that that's all I had. But you know, I have some compliments coming in. Uh, so Kanchan is saying, listening to you, Vandana, I feel like you're talking about myself. Oh, uh, on my behalf. You also yeah. touched five people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had technical yeah, issues yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday she was scheduled to do one. We tried, but you know, due to technical issues, uh, she was actually in a farmhouse located remotely. So she's having bad signal issues. So yeah, we'll be doing a show again. So any questions? Uh, uh, yeah, one more question popping up. Whose house will you visit if you go invisible? Whose house will I visit if I go? I won't. I want to visit Amit Shah's house. Amit, Amit Shah's Shah. house. <laughs> yes. Kim? Because he has a similar hairstyle like me or Naito? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to visit his house and see what is he doing there. Kese? Q, kya? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go. <Hai> na? <laughs> <laughs> so Kanchan is saying it's it's not five, it's more than that, and the count still goes on. So yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I'm through with the questions, but I have a quick question for you. Uh, so any question that you got really prepared for which I didn't ask? Any question? That you got prepared mentally. Rapid fire may a question aega, but I didn't ask. Uh, 
ये क्वेश्चन आएगा बट ये नहीं नहीं आई थिंक ओनली थिंग आई वॉज प्रिपेयर फॉर वॉज हाउ मेनी स्टेट डिड आई गो टू दैट इज ओनली थिंग आई हैड इन माई माइंड और तो मुझे नहीं मालूम था वॉट ऑल क्वेश्चन यू गो नू आस्क सो यस गुड क्वेश्चन वेरी नाइस Thank you. I, I think I I explained my life in a uh, few minutes. I've explained it in few minutes. So yes, that was great. Cool. So now to the main topic. So you've got a minute to say what would you do if you become the chief minister? What are the areas you would focus on? What are the areas? I think the first thing I'll do is I'll cut the fees uh, structure in international school because their fees is. Uh, doesn't make sense to me at all you know they they taking lakhs and lakhs from the parents and parents are getting burden the parents are forced to work the mothers are go up forced to work because you know fees they na fees they na and uh, what is the quality of education we get nothing it's just ratifying you by heart you write you by heart you write exams pass karo so i think it's a pressure on students as well um uh, maybe i would uh, uh, appro- have an approach uh, of uh, learn through practical you know as a practical learning a montessori mm-hmm. way of learning so uh, that is that will be my first uh, you know motto uh, education fees mm-hmm. uh, the quality of education uh, second i would love to make uh, paths for the cycle for people to cycle because if we mm-hmm. have good roads for people to cycle people will start using cycles mm-hmm. even exactly. the youngsters right. you know and uh, that way it will help a lot uh, with the pollution or traffic jams mm-hmm. or whatever people will use cycles and uh, uh, also i would make sure there are no pawn shops and no liquor shops near schools because in my area there are like eight schools and every school has uh, you know a pawn shop and a and two schools have liquor yeah. shop just next to it okay and there's nothing mm-hmm. you can do about it because everything is controlled by the mlas and you know it's their business so that is something i would uh, really look into and uh, i will make a lot of uh, uh, i'll make sure there a lot of uh, playgrounds okay mm-hmm. indoors and outdoors sports for children so that you no know, children and it's safe okay and children uh, have to go out to the park and they have to play it's very healthy for them so uh, a lot of playgrounds indoor outdoors for these children and uh, and what and uh, a lot of shelter homes for the animals something which is good yeah i was waiting for that so yeah lot of shelter homes and uh, yes these are couple of things which i would start with mm-hmm. mm. that that's very optimistic would start with so the list goes on but good good one nice 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 what nice is the one thing you will do what is the one thing that you will do yeah i i would spend uh, more time on one of the subjects uh, which you spoke about uh, i would spend more time on greenery so if there is a chance uh, i am given to you know build something i, I would say uh, urban forestry yeah. know, around the city and within the city around the parks and there is a new japanese uh, technique of building forest in a smaller area that you can build almost Very a forest nice. uh, in a smaller even with a uh, 100 square yards you can build a forest so that sort of uh, things i think we can implement mumbai has already done it i think uh, hyderabad should also come up with such initiatives absolutely so yes. yeah yeah talking about parks so that that's what i would do a lot of right. area for kids to play okay okay mm. yeah great yeah <laughs> good thank you vandana i think that that finishes uh, our round of uh, this thing but uh, yeah thanks for taking time out for doing this uh really cheerful really energetic so keep keep up your good work a lot of humorous uh, posts on your page so it it takes a lot of effort to you know make uh, some humorous posts or you know have that thought process which you know makes it easy for everybody and makes uh, gets everybody at ease and they're all stressed out so yeah. good job thank you. So, thank you so much for this opportunity ravi and thank you edlin for introducing me to you so uh, thank you so much and uh, thank you to all the viewers uh, i'm sure they must be in lakhs are they <laughs> <laughs> no as of now but yeah this, this will go to around one few day. hundreds <laughs> one day <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much all the viewers who are watching us and watching us talking and for all the people who uh, match the ditchers 
so <laughs> the same so wavelength much. yeah same wavelength <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this, and uh, yeah, I hope to you, uh, meet you in person very soon. Yes, definitely, and let's create a shelter for uh, pets. Absolutely. You know what you dreamed of. Let's let's make it happen. Absolutely right. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Vandana. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.